All right, today we're going to be talking about SEO. So thanks everyone for joining us today. We're going to talk about the 2021 SEO formula. Hopefully this will help you guys get focused on what you need to do in your roofing business to expand your kind of your 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 reach through SEO, expand your your brand impressions through SEO and increase the opportunity to generate a lead for your roofing business. So, of course, to start off, and I'll do the same thing here, if you could turn off your cell phones, turn off your, you know, turn off Facebook, if you can, you know, if, if it's possible for you. Uh, let me turn all my stuff on here, off here, I'll put on do not disturb. You know, if you're serious about getting some better SEO results over the, you know, in 2021, you know, let's get focused here, let's, let's pay attention, please, please participate with us. And, uh, and we'll we'll work on that. So, what we're going to cover today are the latest algorithm updates, kind of with the things going on with the Google algorithm, the things that you may have uh, put in place in the past that may not be working uh, today, and how to really optimize your website properly for SEO. So, for those of you that are new and and you don't know who I am, my name is Jim Aline. I'm the co-founder of Roofer Marketers. I am uh, also the uh, author of co-author of two books, Internet Marketing for Roofing Contractors, and our, our most recent book here, The Best Known Roofer, which is available on Amazon right now. Um, I'm a, I speak at multiple events around the industry. We're members of the NRCA. Uh, and, and really, you know, we, this is what we do day in and day out. We work with roofing businesses on their digital marketing. So, uh, and, and so, you know, hopefully, I can share some valuable information with you today to help with your roofing business. So our philosophy about becoming the best known roofer in your, you know, in your market to your perfect customer is really based around three core principles. Uh, and, and that those three core principles will, will bring you, bring your business to become omnipresent to your perfect customer. And the first thing, the first principle that, that, that we focus on is maximizing opportunities. In maximizing opportunities, um, we'll, we'll talk about that a, a little bit more, but you know, SEO is an opportunity. Uh, organic traffic is an opportunity to make that phone ring, right? To, to, to make that phone ring, to, to close more sales, to generate more roofing business. Um, the second thing is we're maximizing brand impressions. That's our, our second core principle over here. And the third is maximizing conversions. So today we're going to focus in on, uh, on the opportunity, mostly on the opportunity, right? And that is SEO. And so, you know, I, I like... I like I like hearing myself talk, but I don't always. Uh, but I'd love to, some participation for you guys. You know who feels that? I know it's a little bit of a loaded question. Who here feels that SEO matters? Drop a one in the chat for me. Yeah, Sean, Eric, Georgette, Brandon. You know, of course, SEO matters, right? There's a lot of. You know, there's a lot of competition. Um, you know, paid ads are taking up, you know, a good portion of the top of the page. Uh, you know, you got the map section in there, which is organic. And we'll talk a little bit about that. And then, you know, you're in there competing with, you know, you're in there competing with Home Advisor and SEO and Angie's List and Yelp and all these, all these, or sorry, Angie, uh, Better Business Bureau, all these companies that are spending millions of dollars, right? So millions of dollars on SEO right? Millions of dollars. So we need to find a way to get in there and still compete with them. Uh, and, and you will find that you'll, with proper SEO, you're, it's easy to compete with those guys. Um, organic SEO gets about 73% of the traffic on the page, right? 73, 75% of the traffic on the page, depending on the, the study that was done. And so if you look at, you know, the paid traffic, Google is essentially taking 25% of the traffic to its paid sources, right? So there's still a huge opportunity in organic. And 67% of the traffic goes to the map pack and the first listing 
in the website section. Huge, huge, huge amounts of traffic that go to those sections. So of course, and like everyone, uh, like everyone agreed, SEO still matters. Um, a number, you know, if you get ranked in SEO, and, and some of you may ha have have a good results in SEO. Some of you may be, tr uh, you know, a, attempting to to get ranking in well in SEO. Um, but if you are ranking well, it, it, you know, you're going to get a lot of business from 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 that. So. But everyone searches a little bit differently, right? So in those paid ads and in the in the map section, you know, as if as someone who you know, when you're going out and looking for a plumber or a dentist or some someone near you, how do you search? So, who likes to click on the Google Home ser local service ads, the Google Guaranteed ads? Drop a one in the chat if you like to click on those. Drop a two if you click on the pay per click ads. Three, if you like to click on the businesses in the maps. Four, if you like to go down to the website section. I want to see kind of how you guys how you guys search in regards to that. Yeah, Eric and Brandon, they're going down to the websites. Or Brandon said, actually, Brandon said the maps. Um, three or four. So I'm getting threes and fours. So maps and organic, right? A lot of us skip that paid traffic, right? We just, we know what it is we know that it that that it's paid yeah rachel three then four right so start with the maps if you don't find something there or if they don't answer their phone that's a you know a huge problem with contractors uh you know then people start moving on down right they move on down the maps there and yeah the maps first i i'm the same way i like i search in the maps first right that that's kind of my my first place that i go so it's an example of a client of ours over a, a couple month period here you could see that 75% of their calls came from organic, right? So they're still, you know, our philosophy is to maximize your opportunities. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to leave out the paid sections, right? You still want to be part, you participate in Google local service ads. You still want to be running pay-per-click advertising in our opinion and, you know, in our philosophy. But at the same time, the majority of those calls are, are going to come from organic SEO. So of course you can't rely on paid ads alone um, as we were talking about. So let's start going into the three biggest kind of three changes that have happened. It's really over the last couple of years. There wasn't anything crazy that happened in 2020 to 2021, but over the past few years, you know, it really has come down to the first thing is is needing really detailed and well written content. Um, I like to say that Google only knows how to read, right? Google only knows how to read. When you're typing stuff in, you'll see a lot of times where uh, where where even in the map section, it will say this their website mentions what you typed in, like tile roofing companies, right? type in tile roofing companies and in the map section it, below the listing there it'll say your website mentions this this website mentions tile roofing companies so having the words on the page is what really matters having enough words having the words that the searchers may be typing in and then well written content not just throwing up 100 words on a page right that's not going to give google the best indication that you are an authority in that in what what those people are typing in so good well-written content you got to get rid of low quality spammy links um i'm sure that most people are past this now but we were just talking with a company the other day uh that that this was the case that that years ago they they had this you know seo company uh when it was working you know, uh, building all kinds of links all over the place. And that was really inhibiting their SEO in today's mark in, in, in 2021, because they hadn't cleaned that up. They, all of those links were still out there. They're real spammy links. Um, you need a real physical office. Um, you know, you can get some results from a home office. Uh, it's more difficult to get rankings from a from you know a, a, a Regis or a, a virtual office things like that. You know the UPS store, man, you're going to have some trouble there. 
right? Getting really good results. Um, and then the fourth, and this is another one that's really getting into play now, and that's site speed. Site speed really matters in your SEO. And it, <clears throat> it's very overlooked. So we'll talk about all of those things. So the first thing is you need a, a, a detailed, well-written content uh, on, your, on your website. So when you're building out your website, you have to framework all of the services that you offer, right? All of them. And then you have to build out, uh, de define the area that you serve also. For every single service that you provide, you should have a page on your website with six, 800 words of content, you know, at least 500 words of content. So if you guys, you know, if your company does metal roofing along with asphalt shingle, you should have at least a page about metal roofing. But within metal roofing, you know, do you do uh, stone coated steel? Do you do standing seam? You know, do you do corrugated metal roofing? What types of metal roofing do you provide? Having additional pages for each of those types of things, right? So not just glazing over, hey, we do metal roofing, but down to all of the individual services. If you do commercial roofing, having a page for TPO, uh, modified bitumen, you know, ha having pages for all of the different things. Having pages for repairs if you do roof repairs. Having uh, pages for replacement if you do roof replacement, new roof installation. All of the ways that people will type things into Google, you want to have pages for. And we find that most roofing companies kind of serve a 25, 50 mile radius around their, their location. And so you should have pages targeting each of the locations in your service area. You know, this could be 25, 30, 50 pages of content on there. So, you know, making sure that you have those unique pages because that's the way people search for roofing, right? Um, commercial roofer, Minneapolis. Commer but, but they may say, you know, commercial roofing company uh, in Forest Lake, Minnesota, right? Uh, you know, which would be a smaller, you know, kind of suburb of the, of the Twin Cities area that then, so without having a page for that, you don't, uh, you don't, you're not able to get ranked. You'll see this really defined with the, with, with the Better Business Bureau and, and a Home Advisor and Yelp and these things. Type in, go ahead and type in like a roofing company, whatever city and whatever state. And for nearly every city and every state in this country, there is a page on Home Advisor that says the top 10 roofing companies in that city and that state. Home Advisor has about 1.9 million pages on their website, right? So to compete with them, you don't have to have all of those pages, but you have to have the pages that matter in your service area, right? So making sure that you're doing that. And as you can see with Home Advisor in the top 10 for almost all of these search terms, that's what they're doing. So Google likes that. So that's the way we build things. Well-written content matters. You wanna sell your visitors on your services and make sure they don't leave without contacting you. So this is more in conversion rate optimization, but, but having well-written content matters, right? Not only are you speaking the technical language of say the, 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 you know, TPO roofing and the benefits and the advantages and disadvantages of TPO roofing, but you're also speaking to the fears and considerations of the customer, right? Are you, you know, what are they looking for? So making sure that you're defining that you're a respectable company. Hey, we are, you know, five-star rated. We are uh, experienced, licensed. Uh, we're, uh, we are a, uh, you know, GAF master elite or, or, uh, or, 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 you know, any of the manufacturers, you know, Owens Corning preferred, platinum preferred, whatever you are. So defining that trust factors also within that, that the, the content that you're creating. And so, the, you know, having too many irrelevant, low quality backlinks pointed to your site could hurt you. Um, it's very, backlinking is, is, is tricky and it, it's not, 
like the super core factor that it used to be for local SEO. A lot of your backlinks come from your citations and from the manufacturers that you get listed with. Um, those are the kind of the higher quality backlinks these days. Um, and, and so, you know, years ago, the Penguin update addressed that and, and, and it's all about getting quality links if you do get links. So you're gonna have, have to review your link profile uh, if you get a chance, there's a tool called Ahrefs, A-H-R-E-F-S. And that's a, a tool that we use that, you know, you go in, you put in your website, and you can look at your backlink profile, and you could see where the backlinks are coming from to your actual website. And then you could go in and remove them, disavow them, which, which means to ignore them, tell Google to ignore them. You could do all that so that you can work on having only the quality links in there. You also want to work on diversifying your anchor text. Anchor text are the words uh, that you click on in the link. The most popular anchor text on the internet is click here, right? Click here. And then the link is, is hidden behind there and that takes you to the page. So a lot of times you may have overused keywords, keyword stuffed your anchor text or the person that built your backlinks uh, keyword stuff to your, your anchor text. So roofers, roofing company, you know, all through your anchor text, having too many of those words in your anchor text will look spammy to Google. It, it makes it feel to Google like you're trying to manipulate the algorithm. And anytime it looks like you're trying to manipulate the algorithm, that's when you get penalized. So any questions on that? Any questions as we're going along here? Feel, feel free to drop them in the chat and we'll, we'll discuss stuff. I know, Rachel, you have a question. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later, um, but, but we'll get there. Uh, Nikki just dropped hrefs in there. You might need a subscription for that. I, I'm not sure, but, but it's a good way to really check on that stuff. And then, you know, you need that real physical office. Google Maps had a major change over the last couple of years and the primary address is what the map is really focused on. So during this algorithm update, it, it took a real toll on, on people who had multiple fake addresses. You, you used to see this a lot more. There's still some people slipping by with it, but, but you used to see this a lot more. Yeah, Uber Suggest, Sean said, is another good one. Yeah, Uber Suggest, you can also find this stuff. Um, so, you know, there was a, Google wiped out, I think it was like, it was a year ago, February, 2020, something like that. I think they wiped out like 3 million uh, uh, Google My Business listings in a day or something like that. It was crazy. And, and you used to see it a lot where there was really, people had like multiple addresses around the city. You don't see it as much anymore because it, it doesn't work as well anymore, but they used to use UPS stores and mailboxes, et cetera, and virtual offices and all these different things. Um, and, and so you wanna really have a real physical business address in the city. If you do go to a kind of a virtual office, most cities will have, uh, have, have uh, spaces where it's like, it's not a virtual office. It's more like small office space, but each office has its own individual kind of unit number and things like that. That'll help you out there. If you're, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, if you need office space on a budget, a lot of, a lot of cities, you could get those for, you know, three, $600 a month. You could get one of those types of cities or uh, ad, um, uh, 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 offices there. So the next thing we'll talk about is site speed. Right, site speed plays an integral role, and, and it, it really has become even more, um, even more prevalent here in, in 2021. How fast your website loads is really important. Think about it as 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 someone who searches. If you click on a website and it takes a long time to load, you just leave. Right, that's called a bounce rate. And the higher your bounce rate is, the, the less time people spend on your site, the more time people leave your site or the faster people move your site, uh, move off of your site, that, that tells Google, hey, this one isn't good, right? Move them down in the rankings. And mobile and desktop must be considered. So a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people went out and optimized their desktop speed. Um, 
and that was great. But their their page speed on mobile is terrible. Also, Google is going more to their mobile first indexing. So now they're you know in their ranking algorithm, they're measuring that page speed of the mobile. So you go to it's called Page Speed Insights is where you go to to check that out. And we could we could if someone if anyone wants to drop uh, drop their websites in the chat, we could go take a peek at some of these and 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 take a look at them live here in a, in a little bit. So if you're interested, we could go take a look and and walk through and and see what kind of help we could give you. Um, all right, thanks, Georgette. We'll uh, we'll do that. So. So in making in site speed, right, we're going to increase site speed may, um, by enabling compression. So we'll get a little geeky here, and 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 so I don't want to, you know, go too far in the weeds on this. But computers read differently than humans, right? Computer. I I, I started doing computer programming back in two thousand two, um, server side programming and and we write code in a way that we could read it. So we put extra lines and extra spaces and, and to make it easily readable to the human. But a computer doesn't need that. So a computer just, it could have it all on one line, no punctu no, no, you know, indentations, no, none of that, where, where a human needs to see that, right? And so, all, a lot of the code that's written for websites is written by people. So it, it, we have all these different tabs and spaces to make it look pretty, kind of like paragraphs where you indent the paragraph and you know, different things like that. So this, it, it's called minifying, um, but what you do is there's plugins that you can use, WP Rocket, um, different things like that, that'll minify this. So essentially it'll go in and take all of the space out of your code, which speeds things up. Uh, you want to reduce redirects, so you want to make sure that that your page goes to the proper page, like instead of, you know, www to to non www things like that. Uh, always they, you know, it's 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 not a lot of time, but it's extra time. Uh, removing render blocking JavaScript. That's a little. A lot of these plugins do this stuff for you. You want to leverage browser caching. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, um, a lot of good hosting providers will will do this or provide you with what's called a CDN, uh, or you can use something like Cloudflare to 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 do that. But that improves browser caching and and gets your servers uh, your speed uh, the speed up on your websites. Uh, like I said, a CDN, the Content Distribution Network, essentially it places your website files throughout the world so that they're getting loaded from the closest server. And then the big one is optimizing images, right? Um, you don't need a full 4K image to fit into, you know, this little, you know, you know, couple cu couple inch, you know, spot size on your website, right? So you can ma make sure that all your images are getting resized to to what they need to be for your uh, for that. Um, let's see here. Let's see what a good place to be. What else has changed? So SEO tactics from years ago aren't aren't uh, aren't, aren't very effective anymore. Have your focus on user. So we got to focus on the user experience and user optimization, and in the technical on-site optimization. So let's uh, a couple people have dropped their websites in here. So let's uh, let's take a peek at a couple and. Uh, and see how we're doing. So we're going to do page speed insights. This is Google's page speed insights here. All right. Georgette, we'll take a peek at uh, take a peek at this site. Let's see how we're doing. GNAC construction, how do you pronounce that? Genic? GNAC? So we'll look at page speed insights here. Let's see, that's loading. So the first thing that we see here, uh, Georgette, is I, I the first thing I notice is lack of content, right? Uh, the first thing I notice, home, our promise, and more, recent projects and blog. So the first thing that I would suggest you guys working on 
is building out the content, right? You're going to have to build out service pages for every service that you provide service, define your service area. Um, from a conversion rate optimization standpoint, I like that you have your phone number in the upper right hand corner. Uh, this image to me is a little bit off. I would, you can move some of this stuff up into this area overlapping that image so you're not wasting that space. Everything here is called above the fold. So when we first load a website, what we see is above the fold. People don't like to scroll. So you want to bring some of that more important information above the fold while you're when when you're doing that. Uh, let's see what we ended up with. So 28 on mobile, right? Uh, 79 on uh, on desktop. So not too bad on desktop. There was a redirect there that that happened, um, and that was part of it there. But uh, yeah, so, so some improvement to be made there for sure. Hopefully that was helpful. Georgette, let's go on to uh, another one here. APD roofing. Take a peek. All right. So I like your, the first thing that I notice is your, your site has been, someone has been working on optimization. The reason that I know that is because the title tag is optim, optimized here, Houston Roofing Company, APD Roofing, Insurance Claim Specialist. Uh, get a free quote. I'd like to see your phone number up here in the upper right-hand corner versus down here a little bit. Um, affected by bad weather. So you have roofing, but you, you know, you got the water, water mitigation uh, service picture there. I think you were on another one of our, yeah, I've seen this website before. I think I've seen your website before. We talked about this last time. It's hard to, and it's kind of, it's difficult to do remediation and roofing in the same kind of mash together. So you're going to have to make sure that you optimize your homepage for whatever service you want to focus on. With the name APD Roofing, I would, I would, you know, optimize that for, for, uh, for, uh, uh, roofing, of course, but you know, that's just my preference. Roofer marketers. Um, see here again, mobile, right? Desktop 74, mobile 14. That mobile indexing speed is going to be bad. So we'll go into that a little bit and talk about, we'll, we'll talk about some options for you guys for that. Uh, APD, hopefully that's helpful. April, um, take a peek at a couple of these HH. I like this design. Nice design. Looks looks good. Phone numbers there. Estimate there. HH Roofing and Construction, local roofing company. So a title tag like this needs three elements. Keyword that you're focusing on. So here you're looking at your local roofing company. Branding, HHH Roofing and Construction. The thing that you're missing there is your is the location, right? So Spring, Texas would probably be another thing to add in there. Number one roofing company. So you're using the keyword again. I'm sure I'm assuming this is in a H1 tag, H2 tag, so not too bad. Um, so you're again using that 25 years of experience, licensed and insured. A someone has read the book. I like it. Um, so yeah, well, uh, well done for, from, from that perspective. Let's take a peek at the pages. Roof repair, roof replacement, and roof and siding. So now roof replacement, water leaks. So I would say that, you know, for you guys, um, for you guys, Eric, is, is going deeper into your content. And then it doesn't look like you've defined your service area. Let me take a peek here, see if you've done that or not. So two things there. So you want to define, uh, fill out your uh, your content even further, develop your content even further uh, beyond just commercial roof installation, commercial roof replacement. So you're you're getting there, but but a few more things to work on there. Hopefully that was helpful. Stonescapes is being rebuilt. So we'll Sean will uh we'll we'll take a look at it. Oh, did I do HHH there? Here, let me do a let me do page speed insights for you guys see what that looks like and then we'll do stonescape 
Is this helpful, guys? Drop a one in the chat if this is helpful um, to look at this and see 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 that the way that this goes and 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 to get some in, you know kind of uh, advice on this. So Stonescapes here, roofing company, Metal Roofing Colorado. So if you guys do all all metal roofing, um, which it seems stones, I mean Stonescape would 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 uh, would in you know kind of infer that. Um, or stonescape steel roofing, right? Infers that. I would I would move off of roofing company and do metal roofing company, right? And focus in on that. Uh, north of Denver roofers, right? So maybe you might, depending on where you guys are located, I would you want to optimize your homepage for the for the actual city that you're located in. So you got the Fort Collins office and the Cheyenne office. Okay, so this brings up you know a little bit of a different. Uh, a little bit of a different challenge, right? When we're in multiple locations. So we'll talk about that a little bit. So services, so really uh, you, you had mentioned that this is being rebuilt. So really you have a one page website right now. So hopefully Sean, as, as that's being rebuilt, um, as that's being rebuilt, you can, you can develop out all of that content, right? Um, I like the look and feel, uh, you know, I'd like to see a phone number, phone number up in the upper left-hand corner is okay. Upper right-hand corner is really where people's eyes go. We read from, from left to right, uh, our pledge to you, explore recent work. This is another place for a call to action. So this is another place for get free inspection, get a free estimate um, versus explore our recent work. You could bring that down a little bit. So we'll talk about, that in a little bit. So you're, you know, oh, that's HHH. So HHH going back to your page speed, really lacking on page speed. Page speed's a tough one, um, but man, it makes a difference. We, uh, I don't know if I have access to some things right now that I could show you that, um, but we've seen the difference in just optimizing page speed within, you know, uh, the next time that Google crawls it, just getting, you know, pretty good leaps of, uh, in uh in in rankings so stonescape steel will run your page speeds page speed insights here and look at rmc while we're doing that so rmc remodeling so your your i could see here from the start your page has not been optimized for for seo right and that starts with this type with this page title right so again keyword location branding. So, you know, roofing, roofing contractor, roofer, roofing company, your location, RMC remodeling. Um, you got to contact us here that goes to a contact us page, free estimate. Um, I'd love to see the phone number in the upper right hand corner. A lot of this stock imagery, like, like these uh, little blueprints and stuff like that, I'm not too keen on. Again, you're you're you are also uh, just like uh, uh, was it APD or there yeah or who was it maybe the first one that we looked at um, you're you're not utilizing the above the fold here right people have to scroll down to really look at a lot of this stuff uh, where are you guys out of Cameron North Carolina cool so you want to optimize this around Cameron oh see here now a free inspection I'm not a big fan of a uh, of like the gallery kind of thing in the home page, right? It's, it, you know, here you have about us view projects. The next person is seeing, you know, get a free inspection. The next person is seeing nothing of oh, free estimates, right? So making that congruent, making sure that you're, that you put the right things in there. Let's take a look. Uh, Stonescape, you know, you have a one page website and it's 41 out of a hundred. So hopefully on that, on the, on the, on the development side, it'll, it'll come together for you and you, you know, you'll get that optimized a little bit better. Um, moving over to oxygen. Can't wait. As a, as a page, oxygen, as a, I'm not familiar with oxygen as a hosting service, as a, for WordPress, okay, yep. Oh, oxygen theme for WordPress, Sean. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, 
Um, all right, let's take a look. That was RMC. Let's drop them in there and we'll take a look at, we looked at, did we look at APD? We already looked at APD, right? We got a couple of APDers on here today, April and Kate. All right. And then John, let's take a look at uh, you guys here. So yeah, for RMC there, you know, 11 on page speed, 61, you know, it's, it's difficult. It, it's page speed is really important. First thing, I'm not much with the pop-ups on the, you know, when you first get to the site, you know, that's a little frustrating. I got to click off of this just to look around your website and see what you got going on. Uh, so now, you know, another challenge, right? Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, at Austin, and San Antonio. Many, very different locations in Google's mind, right? Dallas and Fort Worth, kind of the same, but not the same. Um, got your services, multifamily, commercial. Again, that pop-up again, If as I go every page, if I have to hit that pop-up, it's not, not something that I like there. Um, so you got your multifamily properties uh, selection here. You got your commercial services. So again, going deeper into those, uh, into that, right? So you have here, right? PVC, TPO, built up, modified, EPDM, coatings, waterproofing, do, you know, all these different things that you have, each of these can be a page on its own, right? And, and, and talking about each of those things. Uh, let's go back to the homepage. Join our team contact. You got your phone number here, not, not too, too bad. Um, it, you're not calling out a keyword in here. I mean, roofing, welding, construction. Um, let's look. So again, with that page title, LSR multifamily. So uh, we're, we wanna really focus in on the keyword that you're focusing on. So multifamily property roofing contractor, maybe that's kind of a long one, but, or commercial roofing company. Um, and then uh, the location that you're in. So being in those, all of those areas is difficult to do uh, at the same time. Um, but, uh, but that's the challenge. I'll, I'll take you through a couple of our, uh, couple of ours here. Let me get rid of that book, bookmark bar there. All right. All right, let's take a peek at your page speed. And we got one more in here, Lifeline. Georgette is asking, how do we get the title tag optimized? We'll take a peek at that and I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through that here. So there's a couple of places that need to be optimized, but we'll, uh, so Lifeline roofing systems, not too bad. I don't, so, you know, this is all in an image. Um, I don't see, my, the first thing for me, conversion rate optimization, I don't see a phone number. I don't see how I can contact you right now, right? I have to go to more to get request free estimate, things like that. About us, what to expect, things like that. Your name, roofing company. So this is a little keyword stuff, right? You got roof, roofing company, roofing, roof, uh, more roof, 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 one keyword, right? Focus on one keyword, roofers, roofing company, roof replacement. So in WordPress, Georgette, um, let me go through this a little bit more. The roofing company that provides a lifeline to your business. We'll see what kind of tag this is in. H1 tag, so that's good. So you, you got the word in there, right? Um, again, like like most of the sites that we've been looking at, um, like most of the sites that we've been looking at, a lack of content, really a, a real true lack of content. So, all right, so we'll talk about a couple of things. So let me do your page speed insights real quick. So good hosting is the foundation for good page speed. Uh, we use uh, WP Engine for most of our hosting. There are a lot of good providers out there, but you want to have. All right, someone's got a someone's got some page speed optimization going on here. Who is that? Lifeline. 
Good job. 96 and 90 and uh, 95. So you guys must be have must have a, a, a plug in or, or good hosting that you guys are, are on there. So um, great job with your page speed. So you guys really need to focus on that content, building out that content. Let me just show you an example of that. So I'm going to show you a website. So I'm going to kind of address a couple of things with this multiple locations and amount of content. So when you're in multiple locations that are not your own, that, that are, you know, a distance away from each other, right? You could see here that this one is the trusted roofing company in Tampa. This is the trusted roofer in, roofers in Sarasota, right? And all of the content is optimized for that. So there's a residential roofing page, but it's Sarasota. Tampa residential roofing page is Tampa, right? So it, it's all about location and getting the word, it, you have to have the words on the page, right? And so it, for Tampa service area, we're defining that as Lakeland, Clearwater, Spring, St. Pete, Lutz, Crystal Springs, all of these, right? For Sarasota's, we're defining that much differently. The Meadows, Bowling Green, Arcadia, Port Charlotte, Venice, right? That's that service area. So services and service area. So what we're talking about is that it, um, Georgette is asking about how do you get that title tag optimized. An easy way to do that is, um, is through an SEO plugin, uh, all-in-one SEO, Yoast, um, and those types of, of, uh, of plugins allow you to modify those things. So you could go in and modify the, the title, the page title, the meta description, all of those types of things. Now the page title is, is, is what shows up here in WordPress on a, in an H1 tag mostly, depending on the theme that you're in. But so, so it, that, that's a couple of things, right? We, we, we got to have the, the content built out, right? We're talking about commercial roofing here, right? Now we're talking about single ply PVC. There's a page for PVC. There's a page for TPO. There's a page for a page for commercial metal, a page for modified, a page for flat roof, a page for installation, roof replace, right? All of these are additional pages along with, um, the location, right? So going into a lot of detail, right? A lot of detail. This website, we could check how many pages it has. I mean, this website has almost 500, you know, 450 pages of content on it, right? So if you have the, you know, I know you're getting this one rebuilt, but I'll pick on you a little bit, Sean, you know, if you have one page of content and you're competing against the site with 50, 100, 250 pages of content, you know, you're going to have a tough time, right? They've put in the work uh, to, to do a lot of that. So, Georgette, does that help you with the getting the title tag optimized? Yoast SEO, all-in-one SEO the, are plugins that you can do that. So for all of you, you can just do do that. Yep, great, thanks. Any other quick questions before we uh, pop back to the slides? Well, I didn't want to put me back where I was. Let me go. Uh, let me go down there. Watch for that. Put it from here. What? Oh. Sorry about that. Where's the prevent from this slide? All right, we'll just scoot down to it. So another thing that that you got to focus on, like we talked about a little bit, is click through rate. So you know, once people click on your on your on your on on your ranking, you know how how many people and how long they stay on the page, their scroll rate, their time on page, all of that is essential. And think about it, 
kind of in a common sense way, you know, the longer someone spends on a website, the more relevant that website is to what they typed into Google. Does that make sense? Just as a common sense factor, right? That just very simply put, the more time that they spend on that site, the bounce rate is if they hit the website and jump off real quick. Again, it, it's, it's really about, uh, it's really about, you know, the indication that that gives to Google, right? That, 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 that this wasn't the information that this person was looking for. So they type in roofing companies, Tampa, Florida, they click on the website and they're like, oh, that's not, the, not what I was looking for. That's an indication to Google. The other thing is branding is huge. Differentiating yourself in, as a brand uh, is huge nowadays. Alex, we'll, 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 we'll get to answering that too, man. I'll, thanks for jumping on. Good to see you, man. Um, branding is huge. Google loves brands. So the more that Google sees your brand around the internet, and that's mainly through your citation build out, uh, the more that they see it, the more that they understand that you are this, this company in this location and you do these services. So it helps Google uh, in that way. So the new SEO formula, we want to figure out what the most important keywords are based on your services, search uh, services, uh, service area and search volume. We can use like Google's keyword tool, SEMrush, SpyFu, Google AdWords. Someone mentioned uh, Uber, was it Uber Suggest uh, is another one that, that you could pull some of this type of stuff from. Um, someone mentioned that in chat. You wanna set up a great website with pages targeting those keywords. You wanna optimize for that, for that user experience. Optimize your site for SEO, that on-site optimization, putting the words in the right places building your authority through off-site optimization and then tracking your results. Like that's really, you know, the, the gist of it there. Alex has a question here. Uh, he got here late. Love to hear how often you think roofing companies should be approach, approaching maybe blogging to rank higher for local SEO. How often to be posting. So really just having activity on your website, even a blog post a month, is going to create enough activity. Blogging can have its own SEO strategy in itself. Again, it's increase, it can increase the amount of content on the website, right? So now you can go after, so those, the, the keywords that we were talking about, that the, the services that you provide and your service area, those keywords focus on are, are really focused on commercial intent Let, let's look at let, let's look at some keywords that's the next slide these things have commercial intent right uh you know cottage grove roofing companies for alex right um you know roofers near me right with the add-ons right these these are things that type that people type in when they're looking to make a phone call on the other end of this, we have informational content. Best color roof for a blue house is the one that I use so often, right? Other examples of this are asphalt shingle versus metal roofing, um, you know, comparison type of searches. That's what you're blogging with, right? Those are your blog, more of your blog, that's more of your blog strategy is that informational intent. That informational intent can drive traffic, but it's higher up in the keyword, um, higher up in the, in, the, in the funnel, right? It's top of funnel versus bottom of the funnel. When someone's looking to make a phone call, that's bottom of funnel. So we kind of start with the bottom of funnel, right? Get all of those keywords in place first. And then we go and work on the, uh, on the blogging. So at least once a month is my answer to that, Alex. Uh, once a week would, would really be, be, be great but with intent, right? What are you trying to, to rank for, right? Th those are some of the things. And when you're thinking about your blogging, you don't always have to blog about roofing. You can blog about your local area. For example, let's pop back to here. Most expensive neighborhoods in Minneapolis. 
So as we scroll down here, we got this, this uh, area vibes. We got this home snacks, Chris Lindahl, which is a he, big realtor in, in, in town here. Scrolling down neighborhood. Oh, prominent construction, most expensive neighborhoods in Minneapolis to live. So by creating content about your local area, you're giving that geographic relevance to Google. So the short answer is once a month, Alex. The long answer, I guess you heard, um, but blogging with intent, right? Making sure that you're blogging with intent, that you're hitting on things about your local area or about those questions that people are looking for uh, informationally. All right, this is gonna bring me back to the top. So we'll flip back through here, get to the keywords. Uh, we got we we prepared this list of keywords for you guys. So you know, go to roofermarketers.com slash roofing dash keywords and you can download a a a, a, li a list of all of these things so you can kind of get that that visual representation as you're as you go on working and building building through uh through that. So you know, getting crawling up on that uh on that hour. So let, let's talk about this. What you know, what did you learn? What did you notice? What would you like to share? Uh, would you, you know, if you have any other questions, feel free to drop them in there. Let, let's talk about some of this stuff um, and, uh, and, 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 and see. So what's your biggest takeaway? Biggest takeaway. No one's going to indulge me, huh? Kate, what was your biggest takeaway? I'll call on you guys. Brandon, Sean, I know you're there. Already jump off. <laughs> Georgia, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Page Speed Insights. It's a great place. You got to watch that. Um, uh, yeah, big, big thing to do. Biggest takeaway is that I need to flesh out some pages for repair, installation, and more. Yep, Brandon, that's, that's a good thing. Keep fleshing those pages out. A lot of times we get overwhelmed. Uh, um, a lot of times we get overwhelmed. You look at this and you look at the amount of work that is ahead of you to building that up. You know, like we're talking about, I mean, Dynasty had what, 450 pages on their website. Each of those pages has, over, you know, probably averages about 800 words per page. So it's not, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But break it down. Hey, I'm going to work on my residential service pages this month, right? I'm going to get, you know, four or five, 10 or whatever your capacity is. Even if it's one a month, right? By the end of the year, you got 12 new pages on the website. You have more opportunity, right? Maximize those opportunities. Um, Jeff loves seeing the, the, the optimization score for, for, for their websites. It's, it's a big deal. So again, page, there's a lot of things that you can do uh, with that. Good, good hosting is kind of the foundation for that. Like I said, there's some plugins that you can use um, uh, that, that will improve the page speed. It'll do some of that compression for you, a minification, and then really optimizing your images before you just go, you know, upload and upload this huge gigantic file, you know, even if, if you're, you know, if you're, if your uh, salespeople are, are out taking pictures or you're using company cam or something like that, when you're out there, I mean, these phones take 4K pictures now. They're huge. The file size is enormous. So when you just upload that directly to your website without resizing it for that specific area that you're showcasing it in, it's huge, man. Um, so yeah, mobile page speed is big. Page speed affects the bounce rate for sure. Um, all of that. So really appreciate you guys having on. Rachel, I know we'll get to, you know, to, to your stuff. So uh, the, your question before we, uh, uh, before we get, before we get to the end, that it's a little bit outside of uh, the scope of the, of the webinar, but we'll, we'll definitely talk about it because it's important. So um, again, on-site optimization, leverage multimedia, pages for each of your services, you know, meta descriptions, main keywords, you know, uh, we could look at, I, I looked at, we looked at Dynasty as an example. Um, you know, again, it works. This is, you know, maybe two months of calls for prominent, uh, you know, during the summertime. Um, 
you know, you could see as you continue to work on your stuff, you know, your, your, the amount of keywords that you rank for continues to grow and grow and grow. Um, you know, again, this is an, another company, you know, dip, you know, 52% of their business of their calls came from their Google, my business 27%. So again, over 70% here. Uh, your off-page SEO we'll touch on a little bit. High quality links. Links are not as important as they were before because you're getting your links through your citation build outs. So um, reviews matter a lot. Uh, getting, if you're GAF, you know, uh, approved contractor, get that link from GAF, right? Um, uh, we'll, we'll touch on that too, Jeff. Um, you want to build authority and links that comes through uh, the map pack. So building out your citations, a citation is the way your business is listed on Google. So name, address, and phone number. So you want your name, address, and phone number in as many places as possible online and as many directories online in the same manner. And that will get you that foundation of, uh, of that. So how do you build that up? You know, building good links, you know, if you're, an, if you're a member of an association, there's a link to your, you know, as a member, you get a link back to your website. If you support local charities, you know, a lot of times you'll get a link back to your website. Blogging, Alex, you know, a lot of times people will backlink to your blogs. Uh, you know, Chamber of Commerce is a good one, right? Real good one. Any uh, Facebook, GAF, Owens Corning, you know, Ico, you know, anywhere that you're a, 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 a you know, a preferred contractor or in their loyalty programs, things like that, get in that link back to your website, really important. Uh, any suggestions on reviews on Yelp? No, I hate Yelp. Um, Yelp is, uh, they, they're terrible about reviews. Our re, uh, Rachel says that their reviews have been done by customers who don't have any other reviews. So their reviews are keep getting deleted. Yeah, Yelp is a difficult place to get reviews. We really focus in on Google, on your Google My Business listing for your reviews. We think that's, you know, kind of the, the, the most important place. That's where most people will see you. But if, if Yelp is, you know, is important in your area and a lot of people use it, you know, you, know, you, you definitely want to try and get reviews there. But it's, it's a tough one. So um, uh, Jeff Rivera said, I heard that you can see how many people in your area that search for certain keywords. How can we see that on Google? We'll show you that in a second. So uh, building up good relevant keywords. This is the, that hrefs that I was talking about, looking at where the, where the uh, links are coming from. You can see they did a, you know, a home remodeling show, right? A, a local home show. They got a link back to their website for that. So uh, Better Business Bureau is a big one. You know, it's a, uh, <laughs> you got to pay to play over there to get that link, but uh, the, you can have your opinions about that. I have mine, uh, but, but yeah, that, you know, Better Business Bureau, things like that. Um, so these companies have in common is that they've done the right things. They've claimed and verified their maps listing. They've gotten lots of reviews. They have the right keywords on the page, lots of citations, solid link profile across the web. And so, you know, we'll just really, you gotta set up a great website with pages for each of your services, service area, get your keywords in that title tags and headers uh, and, and geographic modifiers, you know, get well-written content and on, on every page, you know, get videos on there to get people to increase their time that they spend on your website, online reviews across the web, get your citations cleaned up consistently post updated relevant blog content, you know, build those links and authority with your local chamber and your local charities and all that stuff going on. And then leverage paid search to identify high converted keywords. So that's the easiest place, Jeff, and we'll, we'll pop up on, we'll pop over to that real quick. So Google's, Google has a keyword tool um, that, that you can get for that. Um, but I use, so I use a tool called Surfer, SEO Surfer. They have a free plugin that will give you, uh, that will pull in that Google ads data, Google uh, ads data. So this, you can see here the, the search term roofing companies, 
gets searched 60,500 times per month nationally. So what you're talking about though is now you have to add these geographic modifiers, right? So the very specific roofing companies, Minneapolis, 260 times a month, right? Uh, roofers, Minneapolis will be a different search volume, 480 a month, right? Uh, roofers, Dallas, Texas, 590 a month. So hopefully that helps you, Jeff. But this surfer tool, it's a free plug, free extension uh, that, that you can look at. And it gives you some keyword ideas here as you type stuff in. It'll tell you, you know, what the volume in. Roofing in Dallas gets 1600. Roofing Dallas, you know, roofing companies in Dallas, 880. Um, so you can help to to kind of bring that together and uh, and and find those, you know, find those. Uh... Ooh, good question, Georgette. Will videos slow the conversion rate? So page speed optimization, yeah. So that's a good one. So a lot of time you'll see on a lot on some sites. You know, we used to do it on on some of ours. Um, who had one recently? I'm not sure who has one, but they'll use a video as the background image, like a cool drone flyover and stuff like that. Man, that's a lot of file size. So again, making the videos, the file, the size that you need, right on the page. So making it just be the size that it needs to be, you know, um, and, and so that'll help you out there making sure that that's optimized. Um, let's take a peek here. So for everyone, I don't want to take everyone's time, but if you want to, if you want some help with this, you know, we do the, the mission of roofer marketers is to help roofing contractors generate more revenue through their digital marketing efforts. We do that in two ways. We do that through our education, things like this webinar. We also do that through our agency where we do the work for you. So if you're interested, go to roofermarketers.com, schedule a call, and we'd love to talk to you there. Um, also, if you if you haven't or if you don't, tune in to uh, the Roofing Success podcast. Uh, feel free to check it out on all of your favorite streaming networks. I interview uh, successful roofing contractors and industry experts on how they find success in roofing. And so we'll we'll pop on to to, to more questions here. Um, and that is Rachel's big question was able to you know on material shortages and how I see that affecting roofing marketing, maybe making sure that our service pages there are, are, are optimized, anything else. Um, man, so material shortages right now, right? That's a, that's a tough one. I think that a lot of, so first off is I don't think you, you dial anything down because of it, right? Uh, maybe, I know you had mentioned in your initial question, like GAF material shortages, and maybe you have some pages about GAF shingles on your website, right? Um, and, and and so I wouldn't tone that down one bit. Like I would, you know, I I really, I really feel that other contractors start to back off when times get tough, right? It happened with COVID where a lot of companies pulled back their marketing and they they started sitting back and waiting to see. I think the same thing happens with the material shortages. You're going to get companies that go, "Well, I can't do the job, so or it's, you know, 6 weeks out or 8 weeks out before I get these shingles in, so, you know, I'm going to just kind of pull back." I think that you set proper expectations with the with the homeowners. A lot of them see this stuff on the news, right? They're seeing a lot of this stuff on the news. So I think that that really uh, you know, having setting proper expectations uh, is a is a big thing, and keep pressing on the gas and keep filling the pipeline. Uh, some of the homeowners are going to get frustrated, uh, and then another part to that is inflation, right? So inflation is it's kind of a weird segue, but my economics geekiness gets in here. It's called the consumer price index. The way the consumer price index is measured as a basket. And in that basket, the, 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 they, they put things in and take things out. So if, 
if, if the cost of oranges goes up a lot, they take oranges out and they put apples in. And so I think that that is another solution in that, in that it may be that there are other, you, you may have to look for the manufacturers that have, uh, you know, that, that have materials available. Um, uh, and, and that might, you know, it's a tough one. We're in a weird stage right now with that. Um, but hopefully they get, they get the plants up and running full, full steam ahead now as the, as the COVID guidelines are loosening um, and, you know, and get that stuff back in order. Is that helpful, uh, Rachel? I, I know it's a little, it's kind of a tough one. Jerry, yes, this is recorded. It'll be up on our YouTube channel and you'll be getting an email with the, with the link to the recording. So, any, uh, anything else, Rachel, in, in regards to that? Anything else you were thinking? Well, yeah, everyone, you know, Schedule a call with us directly, call us, go to our website, hit the schedule a call button, get on our calendar. Love to discuss this with you, how we can actually help you and 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 uh and, and doing uh you know in, in helping you you know execute this uh a lot faster than sometimes you can do yourself. Um Uh, we could talk about that, Alex. Um, we are changing our structure a little bit, so we may uh, we may be able to offer you something. Um, uh, Rachel's asking post posting blogs on roof restoration, uh, specifically more uh, specific more more about roof restoration. Yeah, like those are kind of informational type blog posts, right? So things that you can do to to if, if that's what you're thinking. Um, in regards to that roof restoration. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate you, man. Uh, um, so posting, blogging on roof restoration. Yeah, I think, I mean, all of that's good. Any of the, any anything that people are searching for, I think is a good, you know, are good blog topics. Um, so you just got to kind of find, you know, find what people are looking for. So let's, uh, let me pop up uh, Google real quick, you know, roof restoration. Let's see what, you know, 1900 searches a month nationally, right? There's some search volume there. Um, let's see what they're, you know, it's really not, you know, recent news, roof restoration versus replacement. So that's that, you know, kind of informational style keyword, but, you know, networks and, you know, Architect Magazine is in here and, you know, so it's a national keyword. It looks like a legacy in Minnesota here has a couple of things about that. Um, so yeah, probably a, a solid, uh, you know, solid stuff to, to write content about. Um, well, great guys, get in touch with us. We'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, Hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully you got something great out of today. We'll talk to you soon.